Ionic bonding takes place between metals and non-metals. So for this video, we're going to focus specifically on what happens to the metals. And remember, we said that the metals lose their electrons. Let's see how this happens in practice. I'm going to focus on group number one. I know that an atom in group number one has one electron on its outer shell. So that's my diagram of the atom. And I know that when bonding takes place, ionic bonding, this atom is going to lose that one electron that it's got on its outer shell. Once it's lost that electron, it becomes an ion. And if you notice that ion has a one plus charge in the corner, which can get confusing, right? Because you've just lost an electron and you're saying it's got one plus. But remember, if you lose negativity, so if you lose that negative electron, then you become positive. So that iron has a one plus charge.